Well, I'm joined by card skipper Mark Ricketts today to get his thoughts on the game. Mark, that was a close fought game, wasn't it? But Woking probably just did enough to win. Yeah, um, I think we played particularly well today. Uh, I think the boys be first to admit that. Um, I think we started the game well. First 20 minutes, we looked really strong, looked creating chances, but when we didn't take them, they started to create chances themselves and looked quite dangerous. Um, but we uh, obviously got a result in the end. Doesn't matter if you play well or play ugly. You, well, it's more important to play ugly and win than, than play well and lose. So we'll take that result. And arguably the difference between the two sides was obviously the finishing. We're just happy score, start with scoring two today. Yeah, it was, uh, it was fantastic. Again, played really well today and just keeps scoring goals. It's 101 for him now, isn't it? So he's, uh, he's turned in a lot of goals for the club over the years and it's been amazing for us. But it must be frustrating though to get yourself ahead in a game, having worked hard to be in that position and then immediately concede straight after. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they always say you're most vulnerable when you just scored, and that was classic today for us. And we uh, we can see you straight away. But luckily for us, we had Jez again to go up there and um, score another great goal. And from a player's perspective, Mark, why, why does that happen? Is it complacency? Is it the sort of euphoria of the moment that you've scored and you all switch off? What, what causes it? It's hard to say. I suppose the other team has a little has a little kick up the backside, and they they obviously go out there and ball between the teeth and try and, uh, try and go and score and um, I don't know what happened, I think we had a chance to clear the ball but we didn't do it and um, they got in behind us. And heart in the mouth time as well with Boreham Wood having a, a late equaliser chalked off I think for heart for offside. Yeah, yeah, a bit fortunate again maybe, they, uh, they deserve something out of the game, I think um, they're unlucky not to get a draw on a replay but for us it's, uh, it's good, it doesn't matter now, it's uh, into the next round. And Jake Cole came in today because obviously Ross Warner wasn't allowed to play by AFC Wimbledon. He did well, didn't he? And made one crucial save early in the second half. Yeah, he did brilliant. Um, he got command in his area well, caught, caught an important cross late on in the game as well to relieve a lot of pressure. So he did well today. And now working her in the hat for the first round, I think the draw is on Monday night. Who would you like here at Kingfield, preferably? Um, I'd probably prefer a sort of uh, maybe a smaller team. Don't necessarily want one of the big league teams straight away. So it'd be nice to uh, to try and move through the rounds, but it doesn't always work like that. So we'll take we'll take whoever and try and get a result. And would it be nice to be on television, one of the televised games? Uh, yeah, of course it would. Yeah, it's always uh, always good to be on TV. It's good for the club, good for the players. So we'll see what happens. See what we get. And next up, back to league action next Saturday away at Braintree. Always a difficult place to go. Yeah, we've um, we've struggled there at times over the years. Um, it is a hard place to go, it's not a very nice place to go, but obviously we've got to focus on that now. This next week, we've got a clear week, training Monday, training Thursday, and we obviously have to uh, get on it, get our heads right, and um, get ready for the next game. And talking of training, Mark, how's your injury at the moment? Uh, it's, it's not great at the moment, I'm just spending a lot of time in the gym, strengthening, uh, strengthening the muscles around my knee, um, trying to let some of the bruising in the bone settle down. Um, it's a case of being patient at the moment for myself. So. And any idea perhaps when you might be back, are you able to put a time scale on it or not really? Um, not really, no. It's a case it could take, it could take a good few weeks yet. So um, it's just a case of, like I say, just being patient and trying to let, let things settle down. Oh, lovely. Thanks for your time today. Yeah, I hope it won't you. be too long before you're back in the red and white. No, me neither. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.